Hi, my name is Mark Piller. In this video I'd like to demonstrate an example of a feature available in WebWorb for Java and WebWorb for .NET called Manage Data Paging. It is a feature we built specifically for Flex clients and it provides a very easy way to page over very large data sets. On top of this, it also includes a mechanism for storing only specific number of pages loaded into memory. This way, you can page over millions of records in your tables and still maintain the same consistent memory footprint. In this particular case, I have a MySQL database, which you can see right here on your screen. And as you can see in this, through this particular query, this table contains a little bit over 2 million records. In the user interface, there is a data grid bound to a special data provider, which in fact is the actual component we provide. And this data grid will visualize all the records from the table that you just saw. Also, there is a data provider visualization, which will show only the pages that are currently stored in memory. Right here in the slider, it shows how many pages we want to keep in memory. So in this case, it will, it will keep only one page in memory. So as I go and scroll through this data grid, you will see a line showing up in this particular area of the application, which shows that only specific page has been loaded. So as you can see, as one page is loaded, the other page is automatically removed from memory. And we can continue browsing through this over and over. We can also slide and specify a new value for how many pages should be stored in memory. So let's just settle on 235. So in this case, as I go and browse through the records in the data grid, the number of pages in memory will grow. And this chart will visualize that as well. So this darker line shows how many pages in memory are currently stored. The red line shows the memory in use. So as you can see, as I drag through the slider in the data grid, additional pages are being allocated as this visualization shows. By the way, in this particular example, the size of a single page is 50 records. So if, if I start scrolling through this, as soon as I get to the boundary of this page, an additional page is loaded. And if I go to back to a record which has already been loaded, as we can see right here, just quickly went through this one, it will be visualized and shown directly from the data provider. So the number of pages is growing, so does the memory. But I can go back to one, and all the pages which were previously loaded will be removed from the data provider. So as you can see, there's only one gray line at the top. To release the memory, we added force GC button, which forces, for visualization purposes, garbage collection. And if I click it, you can see the memory that was allocated previously now is removed from Flash Player. As you can see, managed data paging is a very powerful feature, especially when you work with very large data sets. And the ability to store only specific number of pages in memory makes it even more powerful. So go ahead and download this example. The links for the source code and the actual database is going to be available through the blog post where we'll post this video. And try it out both with WebWorp for Java or WebWorp for .NET. And as always, happy coding!